What is up guys, Paradox Seal here, welcome back to a brand new video everybody. This is part 24 of our making a Discord bot in Python series. And in today's video we are going to be making a context menu for our bot. Now uh, before we get into the video, I do want to apologize for a late upload. I actually meant to upload this video yesterday. However, uh, unknown to me, whenever I was editing, I uh, actually realized that the um, recording software I used did not record any of my microphone audio, meaning that basically the entire video was just silent, didn't have uh, me talking in it, and uh, that's not good, so I decided just to scrap that and then um, wait until the next day, and here we are now. So uh, anyways, back on topic, uh, context menus. So basically what a context menu is, is a, a new thing in Discord, I think it's like about three to six months old now it's fairly new but um, what we can use context menus for is we can actually execute or run commands on members messages channels etc without explicitly typing the command in chat so basically we can run these commands without even uh, touching our keyboard basically and uh, I want to show you guys how we can make one so to get started since we are actually going to be dealing with interactions today we need to sync our commands so in your on ready function, whether it be in a cog or in your main file, we need to type in await client.tree.sync, just like that, and we are all good. We can exit our on ready function and we can start making our very first context menu. So to make one, it is at client.tree, instead of command, it's actually going to be context menu. And um, unlike slash commands, uh, again, we don't type anything with our keyboard, however, these do work very similar to slash commands, so the same principle really, just a different uh, method of running it. So uh, instead of a description, we are actually just going to be passing in a name only. And in the name for this one, uh, I'll just put uh, show info. And uh, I'm going to make like a user info command, but a very simple one. Or we can actually change this to quick info, just to make it sound a little bit better. Just rolls off a tongue more. But uh, after that, we can go ahead and make our function like normal. So a sync def. Uh, we can just type in quick underscore info for our function. And then uh, the first thing we're going to pass in is interaction. Discord dot interaction with a capital I. And then uh, since this is going to take in a member, we need to go ahead and uh, pass in a member object. So member discord dot member, and then we can go ahead and um, make our command like normal. So I want to make an embed. So I'm just going to name this uh, info underscore embed. Make it into a embed object. Pass in a title, which will be an f string. And then uh, we can type in member.name, then apostrophe for correct grammar, and uh, we can just type in quick information. And then uh, description can be all quick information about this user. When you type in Discord user. And for the color, uh, we can make it the roll color, so all we need to do to do that is just type in member.color. If you wanted to make it a Discord color, we can just do discord.color.green uh, for an example. But I'm going to leave it as the member's uh, top roll color, so member.color will be the correct way of doing that. And then we can go ahead and add some fields, so info field, pass in a name, and uh, this one's going to be their name. And then we're going to pass in a value, which will be member.name. And then we're going to pass an in inline, and we're going to set it equal to false. And we're going to pass in uh, another field here. So add field, name is going to be, let's do ID. And value is going to be member.id. And we're going to pass an in inline once again and make that false. We're actually going to make it false for all of our um, fields here. And then, so we'll go again. Info embed dot add field name is going to be um, status. 
Um, or actually, let's make it activity. Yeah, why not? I think I spelled it right. Yep, activity. And then value will be member.activity. Just like that. And then uh, we'll make our inline set to false. And then for the last one, we can uh, do the creation date. So name equal um, created at. And then the value will be member.created at. And then dot underscore underscore format. Just like that. And then we're actually going to pass in a uh, formatting for the date time we have here. So I'm actually going to copy it from my uh, Discord bot because I honestly don't have it memorized since it's sort of long. So I need to go into utility here. And then we're going to copy this right here. I wish I had it memorized, but I just don't. But basically what this uh, string here does, that I passed into the format parameters is it basically just formats it into the day of the week, uh, the day of the month, um, the month, the year, and then uh, here I know it's hours, minutes, and seconds. So uh, that's basically what this does. And uh, yeah, and it does it in 24 hour time as well. But I do think you can make it 12 hour time, but I'm not 100% sure how. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and... Um, Go ahead and add a thumbnail. So info embed dot set thumbnail, and then the URL will be member dot avatar, and uh, yeah. Now we can go ahead and uh, send the embed. So await interaction dot response dot send message, and then embed is going to be uh, our embed we just made. So info embed. And um, I want to pass another thing that I haven't used on this channel yet, and it's called Ephemeral, I think is what it's called. So, Ephemeral, yep. And um, basically, if you set this to true, what it will do is um, it'll basically make it to where only you can view that embed or message, and nobody else will be able to see it. And if you have it to false, it'll be uh, where everyone can see it. So I'm going to show you real quick by setting it to true. And uh, that's it for our... Um, quick info command. Now uh, let's go ahead and run it and test it out. Alright, so I want to go to my server and I want to run it on myself. So I want to go ahead and just click on apps. And as you can see, or actually hold on, sorry guys, I should probably uh, explain. So to actually use these context menus, what you can do is, if yours is for a member, like it takes in a member uh, object as an argument, what you'll do is you'll go to your server list, or your members list in your server, and you'll right click on one. So for me, for an example, I'll right click on myself, and then you'll see a drop uh, down menu or a side menu called apps, and then in there should be your uh, uh, context menus command, so quick info. And uh, as you can see, it works. And since I have MF Merrill set to true, it says only I can see this. And I can also just dismiss the message. But uh, yeah, so it works just like a normal uh, user info command, except um, I didn't even type anything in my keyboard. So that's pretty awesome. But uh, yep, yeah, so it has my name, ID, uh, activity is none, and then it has my creation date. So, uh, yeah, and that's it for our uh, quick information command. Now, uh, let's try to make one on uh, something a little bit different. Let's try to make one on uh, kicking a user because we want to be able to kick and ban someone, right? So uh, to do that, I'm actually just going to um, remove all of this here. And then I'm going to uh, just rename this to kick. And then all this here same and then what we're what we can do is we can uh, make an embed or actually no i'm not really going to make an embed instead i'm going to just type in await uh interaction dot guild yep dot guild dot kick and then uh, we're going to pass the member 
Sorry guys, I uh, actually forgot how to kick with interactions, but I just remembered. And then we can send a message as well, so wait, interaction, dot response, dot send, message, and then uh, we can pass in content for uh, what we want to be sent, and it's actually going to be an F string, and then here I want to type in successfully it. Member dot message. Wait, whoops. Member dot mention. Sorry, that's weird. And um, type from the server. And then uh, for ephemeral, I'm actually gonna set the false because for this command, I just want everyone to be able to see it. So uh, now I'm going to run my code again. And, uh, I believe my alt is in this server, but I can't remember. No, actually, I don't think it is. But I'm going to go to my test server here, and I'm going to, uh, basically join it as my alt account. So it should be not expired. Crap, it is, of course. Alright, just give me one second, guys going to uh, invite my alt here. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and join. Oh yeah, and uh, the thing here is with apps, if I were to just click uh, kick on uh, anyone else as my alt, it just obviously won't work. Whoa, wait, what? Wow, okay, that's weird. Alright, well, anyways, I'm going to... <laughs> that is crazy. It kicks yourself, but... Oh, it's probably some permission errors I just have in this test server, but oh well. Anyways, um, uh, mind that, by the way. But anyways, the thing is, I can just right-click on my alt now, go to apps, and then click the kick context menu command I had just made. And um, it works. So he is no longer in my server. Uh, my alt is gone. And uh, it sent a message. And it actually doesn't have that. Only you can see this here. So everyone can see this message. So uh, yeah, that is what we wanted. And uh, that's how we can make a context menu for our uh, Discord bot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you like this video and like to see more content like this. Uh, we are almost at 500 subscribers, guys. Thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me. If you manage to uh, run into any problems with your code, or if you just want to hang out with me and uh, a bunch of other people, feel free to join my Discord server. The link will be down in the description. We are at around 340 members. So again, if you guys want to join, hang out with us, link will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.